Hi. Hello, this is Scott Buceno, editor of Telecoms.com here at MWC 2023, and I'm delighted to be speaking to Abel from Airspan. So, Abel, can we just start by you telling us what your main themes of the show have been? Yeah, of course. So, we have like three main themes. We do public networks. This is our legacy uh, business. So, basically, we focus on densification, small cells. And then we have private networks. This is a booming market for us. Uh, we're doing like very good during the last two years. We have more than 400 uh, private networks booked already. And the third theme is fixed wireless access, more related with point to point, point to multi point. And this is the thing, the three things that we're showing. But the main focus for these mobile congress is private networks. Okay. So uh, um, the areas you're in very much coincide with um, what I've been observing about how 5G is being monetized and how it's evolving and maturing. But you said that your main focus is private networks, so perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about your activities there and maybe the space in general, how that's evolving. Yeah, I mean, we are learning why we're doing the private networks. How, as I mentioned, the legacy business of us has been like public networks, so we normally you know, go with uh, main carriers and we sell like you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of radios. But now, we, in private networks, we see that this is uh, you know, changing the, the type of scalability. As I mentioned, we have like more than 400 uh, private networks booked so far. And what we are doing here is, like, um, first of all, to understand how to win this business. Uh, 2021 to 2022 was more related to integration, so trying to get this ecosystem ready. So we spend a lot of time like, you know, testing with cores, virtual infrastructure, devices. And I think we, you know, we didn't pass the bar. The hardware still is there, but we're doing much better. For example, a core network, we have tested 15 of them. We can integrate, integrate in a matter of hours, right? If we get a new core, we can do it in a matter of weeks. But uh, it's not 100% plug and play, but you know, we're working on that. But um, the important thing that we are focusing in 2023 is the partners. It's, it's a key part of private networks. So, and when you talk about partners, it's not just the, the technology part, like you know, the core, the UEs, the virtual infrastructure. It's also you know, the partners like hyperscalers, right? We have also system integrators in the games that is very important. And then you have like the IT solutions, like you know, Cisco's, HP's, Dell's, right? So it's important to understand you know, the strategy to tackle this market and how we work together. And it comes like to, you know, like how to work uh, in this, to make it scalable. Uh, we have launched last week a uh, press release about uh, our partner program. And this is key because in this partner program, we start, of course, you know, pricing, discounts, you know, but also how we work together. What are the matrix, the responsibility matrix between all of us in order to tackle the whole, the whole, uh, the whole market. So talking about the private network side of things that you could say from a journalistic point of view, it's been quite hyped. But perhaps you can help me understand what's actually possible, what's feasible right now. Yeah, I mean, this is, I think, one of the you know, main values of Aspen. We, we try to really bring transparency of the reality of what is right now. I think that, you know, everyone created a big hype in private networks. So we think now that you have the products and you see the ecosystem, right, because you have to really work with the whole ecosystem. We, Radio Guys, we can develop many features from RIG 16, 17, but you have to really look at what the device can do, the core virtual infrastructure. So basically what, we are, what we're doing is like, okay, so what latencies can we reach, right? You all see it's a beautiful feature, one millisecond, everyone asks for it, but the question is like, do you really need it for this specific use case? So we would put a plan that say, okay, this is what we can do now, what we can do in two years, five years time. And we see like many verticals that they can take advantage because you are at the end what you want to do is like to fix a problem, right? And we can see that with technology of private networks we can do now, we can fix problems like for example mobility, right? Or for example Wi-Fi offloads uh, in airports. This is a big use case. So, so really these are the angles that we're trying to to focus. What is what we can fix right now, and that brings the the value for the end customer and all this ecosystem. We can see also, I mean, we don't, we fit it, and it's not that real private network, but sometimes it's not like a private network, it's ne neutral host, right? We have like use cases like hotels, for example, we did the, the Gale Hotel in, the, in, in Florida, and basically they didn't get coverage. We put a private network there for 5G, but of course they say, okay, we have a beautiful private network, but they want my customers to connect to the actual, you know, public network. So then you can this concept of, okay, now the, the public network has to connect to the private network, and you get what is called neutral host. And we have seen that this is a very interesting uh, new uh, use case as a you know, singular private network. And we also see like, for example, uh, you know, FANGs, 
But actually, I'm not going to call them fans, so we call them mans because the change of fan and <laughs> Facebook and Meta. But uh, we are deploying a big campus, and, and for example, they're bringing the, the, the public the network, the, the public operators there. So we see that also is a big business unit, you know, related with private and public. They're merging the two worlds. So I think that also very interesting for for Espen to tackle. So then, just to finish off, you, you mentioned uh, fixed wireless access earlier. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit more about your activities there? Yeah. So in fixed wireless access, I mean, we have a, a different business unit that is, uh, is a licensed uh, frequency. So we do point to point, point to multi point. And we have launched the six series. That means that we're using Wi Fi 6s to do this technology. And this is what a, a unique product in the, in, the, in the market space right now because we can cover the five gigahertz and the six gigahertz. And last year, last year we launched the, the, the point to multi point. That means that we have an access point capable of six gigabits per second. With, uh, with, uh, with the clients that can reach to 1.5 gigabit per second and you can connect 200 of them. So this is great for you know, coverage extension rural areas, right? And we're doing now a soft launch here at the Mobile Congress. We are launching the, the back hole, so the B6, that can reach like 3.5 gigabits per second, point to point, unlicensed. And the idea is like Wisp America that's coming next week in the US. We're doing the big launch of this new product back hole. So yeah, very excited about this 2023. Great, thank you very much. Thank you very much.